Hi, everybody. How are you? Sorry about that. I had to take one quick break because I forgot something. So I hope everybody's doing well. It is Saturday, November 5th. I cannot believe it's November. The weather here has been crazy warm, like high 60s, low 70s. Um, but it is definitely turning into fall. The leaves are really starting to fall off the trees and, you know, those gray clouds are there and the mountain is sort of shrouded. So yeah, I'm getting close. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm Nancy, the disorderly stitcher, and I'm glad you came back. And if this is your first time, welcome, uh, please do me a favor and uh, take a minute and ring that bell, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I really appreciate that. So today is going to be, I think, again, relatively short. As you know, many of you know, and if you are new to my channel, you know I'm a teacher. So my stitching time is relatively scarce. And um, it seems to ebb and flow, especially, you know, if I've, if I've asked the kids to do work, then I have to spend time grading and that takes a lot of time. So anyway, um, enough about school. So I hope you all are doing well. So um, I'm going to show you uh, a start and a fix and some haul. And um, I started working on some Christmas gifts. So... Um, and a quilt block um, that I, the quilt I've been working on, I finished another one of the blocks. So there we go. And of course, you know, there's always haul because we like haul, right? Okay, so let's start with the quilt block because it happens to be on top of the stack. So this is the um, Lori Holt Prairie Meadow quilt. Uh, she is doing a sew along on her blog. If you are interested in checking it out, is it is be in my bonnet, um, and she does she I become an addict as far as her fabric is concerned. Um, it's very I don't want to say old fashioned looking, but it reminds me of you know it's got that sometimes it has that thirties feel. Um, reminds me of my grandma, but anyway. So this is block three, lots of pieces in this one. And I'm doing machine applique. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it around the edges. And I like it. I mean, it's doing the job and it'll hold it. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling accomplished. So I'm good with that. So I have three down, um, nine to go. I do have the pieces cut out, I think, for the next one. And um, so it's, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? Right. So the next thing I want to show you is um, I started working on, oh, they're a pile under here. There they are. This is a pattern from the Fat Quarter Shop and it's for a like tabletop decoration and you use what they call a jolly bar. Now a jolly bar is exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop. It is a stack of five by 10 rectangles that are cut by Moda out of specific collections of fabric. And I thought, well, those would make great Christmas gifts because you could put a candle on it. You could put other, some other type of Christmas decoration or whatever. So I got this fabric last summer and I made a couple out of this fabric and it's all done by machine so there's like a thin layer of, of batting in there then I also got oh, this I really like this it's kind of whimsical and I'm gonna make a few more um, for friends, just something simple. So I have a few more of those I need to make and um, I'm enjoying it. You know, it doesn't take long. So I will put the link below for the video. That's on the, it's only available on a video through Fat Quarter Shop and I will put the link below 
if you are interested. Um, those of you that, you know, sew or if you're, you know, thinking about, you know, trying a little bit of uh, sewing and, and machine quilting, if you have a you know, machine that will do that. Or you can even, you know, try and hand sew. I don't know. I don't know if, you know, hand quilt, that might work, depending on the batting you use. Um, the batting in that is a fusible batting. So I think it would make it difficult to hand quilt. Okay. So that was one of my accomplishments. Um, another one of my accomplishments is I fixed my Ohio block, my Ohio square for the um, Statehood Splendor series. Um, I started a sew, a, a sew along, you know, I'm not good at those things. That's why I'm disorderly. So this is a whatever floats your boat type sew along, um, stitch along, you know, whenever you feel like making one. Uh, these are from Lori Wilson at Thread Milk Designs. If you haven't checked them out, they are awesome. So for example, here's Oregon. Um, there, that's, you can see it. So I visited Oregon in 1979 to meet my pen pal. And um, first and only time I've ever been to the West Coast. And I was in Astoria, which is, you know, there where the Columbia River meets the Pacific. And it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. I would go back in a heartbeat. And, you know, being 17 at the time, it was, it was weird sitting in uh, the Seattle airport because I had a connection and it was like flight whatever to Alaska. And I'm like, seriously? So, yeah, it was great. But I'm doing these, the ones that I have visited... Um, I'm doing just as the pattern calls for. So I have Oregon and I have Vermont. Um, I visited there quite a lot because that's where my sister lives. She lives up near Newport, uh, which is almost Canada. And the ones I have lived in, like Ohio, I was born in Ohio, I've lived in Ohio. Um, I'm doing as called for, but I'm changing the color of the abbreviations to gold. So I had done Ohio and I did it in a um, lighter gold and I didn't like it because it blended in too much to the um, fabric. So I took the letters out and I redid it. So there you go. I went from a classic color works to a DMC, I think that's 729. And I think it's a little more visible so eventually it's these will be all be pillows and I'll put them in some kind of dough bowl or something like that. But this is 24 count rain barrel. I really like it. You know, it's, it's a nice plain fabric. Um, that's the design shine do its thing. So there we go. Okay. So if you're interested, you know, you can get these patterns um, in your local needle workshop or you can, you know, order them online from various places. But yeah, it's great. I love it. And I'm looking forward to doing the next one. And this was the project bag I made for it because if you're doing states, you got to have a really cool, you know, project bag that has states on it. So yeah. It also has Canadian provinces, which I think is really cool. The only province I've ever been is, in is Quebec. So, there you go. Um, my new start is the Christmas Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Whoops, you didn't see that. Forgot to turn it right side out. Here we go. And this is a stitch along being hosted by the Cornhusker State Stitchers and I will put their link down below. Um, they've broken it down into I think eight pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And I'm doing it, it calls for 14 count pewter gray. I am doing it on 18 count slate. And the colors are mostly DMC. Um, there's a couple in there that you could substitute um, Gentle Arts Cranberry and Weeks Dye Works Cocoa. 
I chose to, um, I knew I had the cranberry left over from my red sampler and I knew I had some cocoa. So I just did a floss toss and I chose my own colors that would be similar to these DMCs because I wanted to use the um, variegated. So I started it and I still have it in the frame, so excuse me. So I do have the first section done. Um, I think if I had to do it over again, I probably would have done it on something a little more neutral. And I'm only using one thread because it's over 18 count, but um, it's okay. You know, I'm not one that's gonna start over, or rip it out and whine about it. So what is, it is what it is. So I'm enjoying it. Um, it's a quick stitch. It's a fun stitch. And I have my needle minder up there um, holding onto my needle. Hopefully I don't lose it because sometimes I'll flip needles somewhere and then I have no idea where they went. So there we go. So the next section I believe says deck the halls. And just because I was down here with the green and I had some green left, I started the D. So, um, that's on my agenda to work on this weekend around grading and doing other Nana things. So that's my start and I keep it in my duck, duck, goose, duck, duck, goose, dot, dot, goose project bag. And I will put her link below. She is on Etsy. Um, she makes great bags. She also makes thread beds. And if you're wondering what that wooden thing is, it's a thread winder. So you can wind your thread around it and then you cut it into manageable lengths. So what I do is um, I'll start like here and I'll just, you know, wrap it around and then snip. And then you can put it on your thread drop or your um, bobbin or whatever you choose to put it on. So these are from, um, I can't remember their names, but I will put the link below. They're from Kentucky and they do really, really work, really, really nice work. And they're very reasonably, re I've had trouble with words all week. Ask my kids. They are very reasonably priced. Got to get the brain and the mouth coordinated. I've also been running into things all week, like desks and door frames and chairs and you name it. So there we go. I will put the link for, for this below as well. So, you know, I was one that went, if you're going to order one, you might as well order two. Right? Right. So that's that. So really those are my accomplishments as far as sewing and stitching but you know as Steph and Pam say at just keep stitching add to cart yeah I've been doing that a lot so and some of these things are things that I had added to cart a while ago and they're just starting to come in so I am part of the um, Floss Clubs, Week Style Works Floss Clubs, and Casa Color Works Floss Clubs at Fat Quarter Shop. And I got the Week Style Works this week, and it is satin black. So there's a lot of dark tinted, they look blue. My camera doesn't do them justice. But there are five, six of them. They are blackboard, gunmetal, charcoal, onyx, coal, and mascara. Very fancy. So mascara looks to be the darkest one. It looks blue on the camera. And then it comes forward to the lightest one is blackboard. And like charcoal and onyx have sort of some, like looks like green in them. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, they will be added to the inventory sheet and um, put in the put in the box for whenever I get around to retiring and stitching. I mean, is retiring even possible today? But we're not going to talk about that because this is an apolitical channel. All right, what else? 
What else? What else? What else? Um, I'll save that for last. So I got this from the stash unloading group, I believe, I think. And it's Stacy Nash Summer at Hollyberry Farm. I love these, this series. I don't know if you can see it. There it goes. She also has, um, I think winter on Hollyberry Farm. But anyway, I just thought they were cute. So I pulled the trigger on that one. The called for is 35 count R&R reproduction linen, old mill Java. Um, but we'll see. And then it uses gentle arts threads. So again, we'll see. Who knows? But, you know, love the flags being the history teacher that I am. So I got that one. Um, this one just came in the mail today. I thought it was a really beautiful sampler. Um, I got it from a gal again off the um, stash unloading group on Facebook. So it's from Scarlet House, the Jane Charlotte Wynn sampler, 1835. I just thought it was nice and plain. You know, it's not overly colorful. It's not, you know, flashy. So it calls for um, DMCs, which she included, and a piece of fabric. I don't know what the fabric is. Um, it might be straw because it calls for straw linen. Um, it also says Weeks Dye Works. Now I'm curious if these are the Weeks or if these are... Oh, they are. They're the Weeks Dye Works. So I'm excited. So it's straw linen and Weeks Dye Works and it's all in there. And yeah, one more sampler for me to add to the list. But I just thought it was pretty. I like that White House. And I thought the trees were interesting. So that's on the list. And then this came in the mail. I was watching, um, I can't remember who I was watching. They're out of Iowa. Hang on, let me go find it. My camera died. So anyway, while I was going to search for this uh, couple of girls that I found on YouTube, on their floss tube, um, Holly and Anita, they are from Iowa. They are a hoot. Um, they were talking about an exclusive from the Stitchery Nook in Osage. And it is some ornaments. And um, so I add to cart and it's an exclusive from waxing moon designs who is also in Iowa and so I think you can see them I don't I don't skate but I fell in love with that skate and um, so they will you know you can get the it has opalescent fabric all three pieces are cut and surged for you if you wish and they also have the little squares of batting. It's so soft. Cut for you if you wish. And they even cut the little pieces of board if you wish. <laughs> I'm all about easy, right? And there's a little charm. Thank you for joining our stitch along and close a charm that you may either clip or sew to one of your finished ornaments. A little snowflake. And, you know, why not? While you're pulling the trigger on everything else, you might as well pull the trigger on the floss. So, anyway, it is great. And, you know, I was I had a complete brain cramp when I ordered this. And I ordered everything but the pattern. Duh. And they are so sweet. The gal emailed me and said, um, you ordered everything but the pattern. Do you want the pattern too? And I'm like, well, that was stupid. So I said, yes, please. And she invoiced me through PayPal and everything was good. So, um, yeah, it was great. I would order them from again. I would order, there go my words. I would order from them again in a heartbeat. 
Thank you very much. All right. Um, another one I ordered, which I have been looking at, and it's a PDF, and I printed it because I don't stitch off my computer, or, and I don't own an iPad. But Becca at Sambri Stitches did this, is doing this one, and Chrissy at um, Finally a Farm Girl is doing this one. And those of you that have been following me, I think I've mentioned before that red is my favorite color and cardinals are my favorite bird. And I know that cardinals, if you see cardinals, they're a reminder of those who have passed and they're keeping an eye on you. And um, every once in a while I have a pair of, of he and a she who hang around our yard. And I like to think that's my mom and my dad, even though they divorced when I was 13. You know, they're still my mom and dad. So this is from um, Al Forest Embroidery, which is out of Ukraine. And um, I just love it. I love it. So now I think Becca is putting the initials of her relatives that is pa have passed by the Cardinals. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I just love it. So I found that one on Etsy. So it's on my list of things to do. And of course, being the nerd that I am, I don't know if I can show this to you. Now you can do it in DMC. It's charted for DMC and I will most likely do that. But what's really cool, and because I'm a nerd, you know, I will admit I'm a, a self-admitted nerd. Some of it, is in Ukrainian and they have their they have their own floss and you can order the floss but I don't think I'm going to but I'm nerding out I saw that and I'm like okay this is too too cool too cool yes it's done in Zweigert Belfast summer khaki um, but yeah I'm nerding out so that's on the list um, all right. I showed you that. I showed you that. I showed you that. Then there was an exclusive through Hobby House. Um, Hobby House just had a retreat and, um, there was an exclusive done with, um, Hands Across the Sea. And I thought, why not? It's a cute little sampler. Sampler. It's very colorful. Let's go for it. So it is Florence Mary Dickinson. I thought that yellow flower in the middle was really unusual, but I just love the colors. And of course, if you're going to do it, do it right. So um, I got the fabric which is tabby cat fabric. It's creme, Bru creme brulee. Now this is the first time I've ever used her fabric and that has a really strong modeling in it. So I'm anxious to see what it looks like, but there you go. So I'm anxious to see how that turns out. And you know, modeling is one thing you can't control. So, and it came in this cute little bag with a cute little label on it. I'm starting to think everything has to be cute like some other people. All right. And, you know, convincing me to buy this, I shoomed as Laura of Brenda and Laura, Brenda and the Serial Starter, you know, I shoomed and I did it. And then I thought, you know, while I'm doing this, I may as well go all the way and this is going to be my first 103 silk project. So I bought the silks. And they, if they are half as beautiful on the fabric as they are on the spool. And I'm just going to bring a few of them out. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And they sent them 
in this cute little bag. And also they sent a card with a floss ring and all the little bobbles on it. And then this is part of the sampler. So that is just so cool. And there's a needle, I think, in there somewhere. But yeah, so I do believe I'm set for retirement whenever that happens. So that's on the list. Um, I ordered a piece of um, lap and loops from the Facebook group um, linen. It's 36 count and it's called Graveyard Mist. And I just thought it had the most interesting greenish modeling in it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's pretty. So that's going to be added to the stash. One of these days I'm going to have to actually stitch instead of buy. But, you know, that's boring. So that's that. And I need to just sit down and make some project bags too. Oh, I'm going to have to turn you because the local quilt slash needle workshop went out of business and they had quilt fabric and they had a lot of yarn and they didn't do a whole lot with cross stitch because I guess it didn't, um, it wasn't selling before COVID. And then of course everybody wanted it, but long story short, um, I stopped in on the next to last day and you know, they just wanted rid of inventory. So yeah, I helped out. So I'm going to turn you around. All right. Because I've got bolts of fabric. Yes. Sorry about that. I hope you didn't get too seasick. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, I mean, it's got project bag possibilities. I could just scrap it up. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with it. it. You know, the pirate fabric would be great for baby quilts. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I couldn't pass that up. So I got those. I mean, she was like, measure it and tell me what it is. So like the one I said, I think, you know, she didn't even, she didn't even roll it out. She said, guesstimate. And I was always taught that every two folds is a yard. So I was like, all right, I'm catch. I'm the way I'm calculating it. This one probably has nine yards on it. And she said, okay, I'll ring it up for six. And then there were three tubes of, um, white DMC Ada. And she's like, I'll let you have those for 75% off. And then I think there's something else down in the bag. But then she wanted to know if I wanted pearl cotton. She had a lot of weeks pearl cotton in various colors and, you know, in, in five and eight. And I'm like, I don't use pearl cotton. She's like, you can't use it like floss. And I'm like, no, it's not floss. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. So I didn't bring that home. So I don't know if she sold it or not. Um, she said everything that didn't sell, she was going to have to take home. So yeah, I hated to leave it there, but I knew I wasn't going to use it. So that came home. And then the last thing I, I have to show you before I show you an incredible gift and do the giveaway is yes, I bit the bullet and I ordered the 2023 book of days. Um, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I mean, my book of days, where'd it go? I keep trying. You know, it's not, it's not exciting because I have been pretty monogamous, not monogamous. I can't speak today. So like, yeah, I don't even have the last week of October filled out. It just has a lot of cool Halloween-y type looking stickers. Bats and cats and skeletons and skulls and Halloween-y stuff. So, and you know, it's the first week of November and I haven't written anything. I just stuck some stickers and you know, I stuck these two down there by the 30th because my one twin loves owls and the other one grew up loving mice and that's their birthday. So I'll do the best I can with it. 
so that's really all I have to show you as far as accomplishments and haul. I gotta stop hauling. That's all there is, is to it. So um, a viewer, a subscriber contacted me and said, you know, you mentioned that you wanted to, you know, regroup and, and get some of your um, told in a garden patterns again and try and work on those. And should I have some that I would love to gift to you? And I could not believe it. I was so humbled and so honored. And um, her name is Mary. And um, so she sent me this huge stack of patterns. Some of them are told in a garden. Some of them are Diane Grebner designs, but they're all of an like Amish type nature. So, um, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter if you see this, but they're really cute. I love the cats. Of course, I am a cat person. There's a dog in that one. I like dogs too, but I don't own a dog. I don't have time for a dog. Um, I don't believe in owning a pet that I don't have time for. Um, does that mean someday I won't get a dog? I don't know. So, And of course, the amazing part about these is I have no idea how old these are, but the price tags on them are $5. So I'm going to guess these are from back in the 80s because I honestly don't think you can find a chart for $5. So there's that one. Sorry about that. My husband just knocked on the window telling me he was going to go downstairs in the basement. At least he made it off the roof in one piece, right? I like that one. I think that's cute. I might end up making that one. I don't know. I'm giving his mom a posy. With the geese. These are cute. Hanging from the tree. So those are all the, um, what did I say they were? Diane Grebner, Grebner design. So those are cute. And then the told in the garden she sent, what, what's really sad is I know I had these and then I gave them away. So again, these are priced at $5 and I know that's what I paid for mine. So these have to be from the eighties. So there's the harvest. And this is the gathering. And this one is Blessed Be the Peacemakers. I would probably not put the words above the wagon. I would probably just leave that off. Of course, there's my history nerd coming out again. One of my favorite times of, of the school year is to talk about Western migration and uh, have them look at migrant journals from the trip west. And Home of a Quilter, I love that one. And the Amish Wedding, I'm going to cover that up so you can't see that part of the chart. So Mary, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. These are definitely on my list to do. Um, you are a sweetheart and um, believe me, they will be enjoyed and loved and I hope stitched. So thank you so much. All right, so the last thing we need to do is our giveaway. And the giveaway from two weeks ago was this beautiful design from hands-on design called Let It Snow Bungalow and it was created by Priscilla from um, 
stitching with the housewives. It's the one of the chalk for the home designs. And the word you needed to use was snow. And I was amazed at how many snow memories came up, especially from the winter of 77, 78. And I had forgotten all about that one. Um, I had lived in Northeast Ohio at the time. And where I lived, from what I was told, where we lived was the highest point east of Cleveland. And we would get snow. Um, it was Chardon, Ohio. And I greatly miss Chardon. I love Chardon. I was there for my ninth, 10th, and 11th grade year. And then I moved my senior year. Um, but I will always consider myself a Chardon Hilltopper. And, you know, when people started talking about the winter of 77, 78, I was like, oh, yeah. I remember that one. So our winner is, and I will put the picture of the um, random comment picker results here, but our winner is Teresa MC. So Teresa, please do me a favor and um, email me. Okay. All right. Email me. The email address is going to be tagged at the end of the video. And is also, there's a link um, up in the banner. So drop me an email and I will get this to you as soon as possible. All right. So, um, yeah, it's been a wonderful two weeks. I hope you had a wonderful two weeks. Um, so I hope you're enjoying the cooly, cooler weather if you are experiencing cooler weather. Um, I hope you are getting ready for those of you who are going to be getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, let's see, today's the 5th, so two weeks would be the 19th. So I think the next time I record will be right before the American Thanksgiving. So. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to get things ready ahead of time, I would really appreciate it. Um, my mother, just to give you a little background, my mother was an alcoholic. So of course, you know, being the youngest, I did not learn a lot of tricks of the trade when it comes to the kitchen. So if any of you have any suggestions on how to prep ahead of time, I would really appreciate it. Um, I've always wondered about that. Um, I will also admit that I am not a person that likes to spend a lot of time in the kitchen because it takes away from what I do out here. So, but I would love any suggestions you have. So without further ado, I am going to wish you the best. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Happy stitching, happy quilting, whatever you choose to do and take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.